Hello, I'm going to give you a quick example of a Variadic template. And what I've been using this for recently is to produce sort of a, a file logger that will quickly um, give me multiple types into a single function. It's, it's just using the template to do this. But I had some confusion while I did it. So let's create a new project. I'm waiting for Visual Studio to do that. So the confusion I had was that when I was moving this into a class, things were going a bit squiffy. And there was no clear explanation as to why. Um, so we're just going to change the properties of a few things here. We're going to make sure that the language we're using is at least C++17. And let's zoom in and show you guys the template. So you'll you'll often see the Variadic template uh, example. Oh, if I can spell template, something like this. So auto sum const number reference number return number. So this is the first function, and what this does is it takes any type and just returns it to you. This is because what the Variadic template does in this case is the parameter pack you give is unpacked until it can no longer be unpacked. There's nothing else to unpack, at which point that is given. So you have to do a default. Um, Fedor Pickus's new book, which I'll link in the description below, has a slightly different approach to this in, in its first example, which is quite useful and neater, but only works with, with simple types. It doesn't work with complex types. Well, at least not the ones I've tried. So our next template is also taking a number, or whatever a number is in this case. So a number actually might be a string later on. Uh, but we also need a, a parameter pack. Uh, so we have type name is parameter pack others. So the others are going to follow this along. Uh, again, auto sum, it has to be the same. Const number, number, the current number. And then we have others, the rest. So that's the name, and it's a parameter pack. And we will just do this. And then we will return this number plus the sum of the rest parameter pack. OK, so this is what this does. Let's uh, sum 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Build that and play. So we get 15. Uh, it's an it's a set of stuff. It's outputted it. We could do it with uh, floats as well. So we're not rewriting the code. We just start using the function. Probably six. Well, it didn't matter. My hands are very cold. Press down tape. So we get 16.5. So we didn't rewrite the code. We've written the code once, but different types can use it. In this case, we're constrained to using a number because summing is a number operation. Let's move to what I was trying to do with the log. So template type name, type name, output. This is the thing I want to output. Um, and what we'll do is call the function outputter just to distinguish it from output. It could be write log or, or whatever. Out, putter, uh, const, output reference. That's the thing we're gonna out, and the last thing we do is just out it. Yeah? That's the end of the unrolling that the, fun that the um, compiler will do. For stumbling over my words. So here we need the overloaded version. Again, I'll just use others to avoid outputter, const output, out, others, parameter pack, the rest. What this does then is this has to output the current one. You can't call outputter. That's, that's key. So this line here cannot call this function. Only the parameter pack should call that function. Um, otherwise, strange things can happen. Uh, and then we call outputter with the rest parameter packed. 
Let me run that. And now we can call outputter one, two, three, four, five. We can call outputter with John, Paul, George, Ringo. Let's run that. So there we get one, two, three, four, five, John, Paul, George, Ringo. It's recursing over them. Uh, and the interesting thing is, of course, is that we can mix types. So that's output of the temperature and 42.2. That's the key reason to use this. Okay. Now if we transplant this into a class, it would work just fine. And I've already got one I prepared earlier. So if I bring in the other one, which is on the other screen as ever. So here we have a class called foo that outputs a file. Um, I've got some safety around the raw pointer I'm using. I shouldn't use a raw pointer really. Uh, this doesn't really need to be mutable, but it's fine where it is. Um, we've got to check that the file is available and open. We output, here's our function. So we're actually checking other functions and scoping the lock and then outputting the value. And then the other output takes all the others and writes them as well and then calls output with the parameter unpack. Uh, to use this is exactly the same, so here's the sum function you've just seen, there's the output of function you've just seen. Here is the use of that exact class. And it will mix and match types. Right, we can put that in a string so you know it's a different type. Excuse me, I'm very sniffling. And then we go and get the file. Uh, C code blog, 100 degrees temperature hot. Work fine. So there you see the output. I will put this in GitHub. I will link this below. I hope this has helped you understand a little bit about what can be quite annoying about variadic templates? Uh, the Fiddle Pickers book, um, which has a different option, is this book, Design Patterns with C++. Quite like Fiddle's um, discussion approach. Um, so his sum function, which I'll take a picture of and, and add to the end, is slightly different at first. Um, and doesn't quite work with the mixing of types um, because you're not calling a function. Uh, so output here isn't being called with the parameter pack. It's being just directly used. You can directly use them, but I don't recommend it, and nor does this book. Um, this is more verbose, definitely more verbose than the original uh, version in Fedora's book, but as I say, that version only works with a plain old data type. This works with multiple data types and mixes and matches them, which I quite like. Uh, I may be a little bit quiet over the next few days. Uh, next, This time next week, I will be on a plane to America for work again. I have so, so many things to review. I've got my new server in the other room, which I have an unboxing for. I've got lots of little bits and pieces uh, that I'm reviewing. And I have a massive, mystery black box that's not so much of a mystery now to review. So stick around folks, I hope to be doing a bit more C++ -y things. I certainly have my own project in the works for about two different things. Uh, thank you for liking, subscribing. There's been a whole bunch of new people. Hello to you. I am sorry I haven't been posting as often as I was before, but new jobs, new works, new stuff, no, 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 no. See you later.